What's good, VP fam? So today's video, we're going to be talking about why you shouldn't tell anybody your YouTube channel. A lot of other creators are saying this, and I agree with them 100%, and here's why. So the first thing we'll be talking about is the algorithm. So YouTube's algorithm, why this is really important. So say for example, your mom, your dad, and your sister watch a totally different video than what you make. So say you make videos about video games and you post a lot of like anime video games and Call of Duty video games. But your mom watches home, home decoration videos, your sister watches a lot of makeup videos, and then your dad watches a lot of car videos and they end up watching your video, and YouTube could be like, huh, this is not the type of video you're used to watching, and it's not gonna help your content get pushed, you know, out there. And I know some of you guys would be like, huh, doesn't make any sense, like they're helping you, your watch time and all that. Yes, but it's very, it's very technical, YouTube is very technical when it comes to this, so you have to watch the same type of video as what they're watching. It's like that. I know. It, it doesn't make any sense. It used, to, it used to never be like this in the past. Five, seven years ago, it was never like this. It was pretty simple. They would support you and good. Now it's totally different. YouTube is all about recommendation and pushing your content out there. Um, another thing about YouTube is that uh, seven years ago, eight years ago, it used to be search engine. So say for my content, fitness. So I did a lot of Mass Tech 2000 or I did a lot of reviews on Protein uh, Reviews. If you type those in, you see mine is one of the, you know, on the first page, maybe second page. And that would be the main source of search engine in the past. Now it's all about recommendations. So um, when I looked at my YouTube algorithm, it says recommendations at number one, search at, at number two or three. So. It used to be search engine at number one and recommendation at two or three. So like uh, it changed over the years. YouTube's a lot different now. It's all about um, YouTube shorts and everything else. It's a whole different ball game now. Uh, but yeah, that's another thing. Now what we'll be talking about is, uh, it's more satisfying to, uh, you know, focus on your channel and know what works and what doesn't work then have your family members be there to watch every single thing you do on the video. So say you are first making a video and you're very nervous, your words aren't the best and too short of a video. But as you grow the channel, you start to realize what works, what editing is good, what isn't. Um, you get more comfortable and you start to grow your channel. But if you get your family members involved and you start to watch your videos, they're going to start, you know, picking out what doesn't work, what doesn't, even though more than half of them never even done YouTube or been in front of a camera and talked through it. it. So I would say don't really, you know, just don't tell them because they're going to start criticizing in some way or another, either positive or negative. You know, it could be either way, but it's going to affect how you push, how you built your channel up but you don't want that. Even though they might be supporting you, it can affect um, how you're trying to grow your channel. So try to, um, you know, just focus on it on your own. Um, if you want to ask other people's opinion, I wouldn't recommend it. Like if you ask someone, hey, what do you think about this video? Don't, like, even though you really want to ask someone, don't, just go with it, post it. People make comments, be like, all right, that makes sense. Or if you look back a few weeks before and you see what doesn't work, all right, change that. But don't ask people what they think because they haven't done YouTube or they haven't done social media. If they have done social media like a content creator and it's pretty good at their stuff or they're really well known, yeah, yeah, they're not gonna, they're gonna be, you know, they've been in the game. They see how good or how bad your content, they're going to be upfront with you depending on the content creator. Um, that's fine because they've been in your shoes. But um, 
I still wouldn't recommend it telling people in general. I feel like it just helps you grow as a creator more to just know what best works for you. Even if you ask a content creator, I feel like you should just focus on yourself. Um, yeah. Uh, the next thing we talk about is let people discover your channel. That's simple. That's the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about. It's just let people discover your channel. I have people from other countries who love my channel. Um, it, it's amazing. Um, I thought I'd never, you know, get people from Thailand, from people from China, from people from Germany. It's awesome. It's an awesome feeling. And just to know that they really like your content, they want to follow it, it's, it's really, really cool. Also, you can meet some of your subscribers off of YouTube. I met one of my subscribers that lives pretty much close to me in New York, and we've been friends ever since. Um, he still supports me and he still loves my content and I appreciate that. Shout out to him. And uh, yeah, it's just a very good feeling to um, get discovered by people and it's really awesome. I get a lot of kind words from people in my DMs on Instagram be like, Hey bro, thanks a lot for this review. It helped me a lot trying to gain this muscle. Thanks for the tips of trying to gain weight. All this stuff. And you're going to feel really... You'll feel really happy, really fulfilled, it'll be just feel like you accomplished something without trying to get help with, trying to Ah, I can't really express it, but you're gonna be very, very it feels like you achieved something that you really want to achieve for a while. Um, it's a great feeling and just focus on your content. Just keep on growing and see what works, what doesn't work, what you need to change, if you need to get a new camera, you need to get a new editing kit, go for it. Even if you have to invest in it. Um, I invested in this camera. Um, I had to save money for my birth uh, birthday money, from Christmas money. I had to spend a hefty amount, I think like 700 bucks on this. Now it costs like 300 now, it's old. But um, I had to invest in it. It's going to take some investment trying to grow your channel, but just focus on yourself, focus on your content. Um, and if your family members or friends and whoever else sees it that you know, they see it, they see it, you know? Um, but just keep on, you know, growing. Keep on being the best version you can do uh, on this platform and also inspire others. If you're the type of person who wants to inspire others, go ahead. That's what I'm trying to do for this. I'm trying to help people inspire, trying to gain weight, gain muscle, gain uh, confident, um, and just be overall good, uh, <laughs> good fitness person, you want to say. Um, like at first, it's going to eat you up inside. Like you want to tell people about your channel, you want to grow fast. But that's not the case. You're supposed to start from the bottom and get and pretty much work your way to the top. But yeah, guys, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns on trying to grow your YouTube channel, I'm here to help. Comment down below. Uh, if you guys also have any questions about working out wise in general, comment down below as well. And uh, to the next video, peace.